Aoki here and welcome back to another now story time today there was once a gruesome murder that happened right here in Singapore it resulted in a nationwide search and extensive media coverage the life that ended happened in the most despicable and unimaginative manner to a girl named Wang Na she was only 8 years old this nightmare began when she went missing on the 10th of October 2004 and subsequently her body was discovered in a cardboard box at the oh my god I can't. subsequently her body was eventually discovered in a cardboard box at Telok Blanca Hill Park on the fateful day Wang Na, a primary 2 student from Tsingtai Primary School, went missing from Pasi Panjang Wholesale Centre. That was her frequent hangout spot after school as her mother works there. Wang Na's mother is a Chinese national named Madam Wang Shu Ying. All this occurred during the period that the mother was back in China. She left her daughter with a friend. You will know more about the friend later but Ah, so once Wang Na was declared missing, many interrogations happened and most of the workers and shop owners at the wholesale centre was questioned. However, one person stood out and captured the attention of the detective. Took Ling Hao, a 24-year-old vegetable packer, and he was questioned twice by the police. It was later revealed that he was Madam Huang's colleague and... For a short time, they, he lived together with Wang Na and her mother. Due to Wang Na trusting Tuk Ling Hao, the most horrible, inevitable thing happened. So I am going to talk about it right now. It's a bit messed up, but bear with me, please. Once Tuk Ling Hao was under suspicion for being a murderer, the police wanted to interrogate more and wanted him to take a lie detector test. But Tuk Ling Hao escaped to Malaysia Penang on 21st October 2004 but guilt eventually consumed him so he confessed rather quickly to the Malaysian police on 30th October 2004 where he was escorted back to Singapore by Singapore police that's when shit went down he explained the whole murder scene by scene to the police. Wikipedia said that Tuk Ling Hao admitted strangling Wang Na with his bare hands in the storeroom in Block 15 of the wholesale center. He had lured the girl into the storeroom for a game of hide and seek. According to court testimonial, Tuk Ling Hao stripped Wang Na naked and bounded her. She knocked her head accidentally against some boxes and went into fits, choking on her own vomit. Tuk Ling Hao panicked and eventually strangled her to death. He checked if she was still alive by strangling her three times on the back of her neck. What? After she died, Tuk Ling Hao wrapped Wang Na's body in plastic bags and put them in cardboard boxes which he had sealed with scotch tape. The box was eventually dumped at Telok Blanga Hill Park. So right after he confessed to the murder of Wang Na, he hired a lawyer, he decided not to testify in court. Anadan, his lawyer, raised two defences to support him. The first was the prosecution did not have enough evidence to prove that it was Tuk Ling Hao who took the life of Wang Na. Basically, it was saying that there was not enough evidence to prove that he did it. So that was one of the defence. The second defence from the lawyer stated that Tuk Ling Hao was not in a right conscious mind when the whole incident happened. So basically he's saying that Tuk Ling Hao was not aware of what was happening. However, with the two defenses brought up by the lawyer, Tuk Ling Hao was still convicted of the murder of Wang Na and was sentenced to death. He appealed against a conviction and a death sentence to the Court of Appeal. But it was unsuccessful. Despite the two and one opinion of the extent of his involvement in the case, one of the three appealed judges, Justice Khan Ting Chui, 
pointed out that there was no conclusive evidence to link him to the case. However, one of the two judges, former Chief Justice Yong Pang Hao and Chief Justice Chao He Ting, agreed with him, resulting in the rejection of Tuk Ling Hao's appeal. After Tuk Ling Hao's appeal was rejected, his relatives obtained signatures from the public to support a petition to spare Tuk Ling Hao's life. Despite gathering 35,000 signatures within four months, the plea of clemency to the president was still rejected. Tuk Ling Hao was hanged in Changi Prison on 3rd November 2006. Controversy erupted when Singaporean public learned that part of the money Huang Na's family received from the people who attended her funeral went into building a two-story house in Ho Feng Village in Putian City, China. Madam Wang Shui said that that was so she could see Huang Na's toe located halfway up a mountain about 20 minutes away. This was proven to be allegedly false as when people visited that area and they tried to look at Wang Na's tomb, it was blocked by another house. So, so that's all that I found out about Wang Na's murder. It's depressing because the last thing that Wang Na saw was Supposedly, someone who was supposed to take care of her but she was taken advantage of and died a horrible death. She wasn't even given a proper burial or coffin. Her lifeless body was stuffed inside a cardboard box just like she was a vegetable. She was a human being. How can you just stuff someone in a cardboard box? What the fuck? This case is mentally crazy because it is pedophilia. It's murder. It's cruel. How can you do that to your fellow human being? So I'm gonna end the video here. Please remember to like and subscribe. Come back next week for another now story tech. Cooks. I have no words to describe but just to say what